Chase with a fourth and three. Gabbert looking for LaRon Robinson. The Vikings win. It's a thriller, 26-23. And you also see Blaine Gabbard going 7 out of 19. And we, we talked in the previous game about the effort getting to the football. This Houston Texas team never lacks effort. Always around the football. Three or four players at all times. And what bothers Gabbard most of all? We the saw pressure. that last year. And pressure, pressure, pressure. Man, that's just a bad throw. Yeah. I mean, it's just overthrow. Last week he was good against the Minnesota Vikings. He Did showed a nice progress. He was a lot better than progress. he was last year. As, as we watch him back. struggle right here, guys, a couple numbers to think about. Jacksonville 0 for 9 on third down. He'll run right into me. Thank you. How about 117 yards, 0 for 9 on the day? Well, not only did they fail to convert into first down, Where's that going? Mm. Yeah, where is that going? Mm. And he gets hurt on this one. Blake Gabbard injured on this play. Injured his leg, did not come back to the game, and Chad Henney would come in to finish insult. This is a uh, Tim Jennings as well. Tim Jennings having a Pro Bowl caliber season. Early. Defense would dominate from there. Sacked by Corey Wooten, recovered by Julius Peppers. Well, has been spearheaded by this Bears defense. 3-3 at halftime, 6-3 late in the third quarter. Picked off by Charles Tillman, thrown right to him. He yeah. takes it back 36 yards not, in his 13-3. Not, not only staring your, your receiver down, but a bad throw, too, right to the defender. Still, Gabbert. Gets sacked by Morgan Burnett for a 15-yard loss. He fumbles the ball, but it bounces right back to him. A fortuitous is what my dad would say. Left to go, fourth and four in the Packers' 44th. Gabbert throws to Justin Blackman, but Blackman was not where the ball was. Miss Kimi put up as well. The Jaguars have, have not, not been really that balanced. No. <laughs> Looking for Justin Blackman, picked off by Eric Coleman. Well, they show balance because they've been equal opportunity bad throwing it and running it. That's so I guess that would be balance, wouldn't it? Let's see, different kind of balance. Yeah. Blaine Gabbert there, and that's uh, interception not on him. Off of Rashad Jennings, picked off by Jonte Green, return 18 yards to the 38. Any chance at this throwing shoulder in this game? Here, his throwing shoulder not so good. Picked off by Darius Butler, his first INT since 09 when he was with the Pats. Indian forced just three turnovers coming in. Blaine Gabbert looking for Cecil Shorts. Instead, he finds Brandon Flowers. Somebody told me you had a pick off. Chiefs, a franchise low, seven interceptions in 2012. Picking up the pace a little bit in 2013. Next play, options later, second and five on their own five, or rather, on their own 20, Gabbert sacked by Justin Houston, an eight-yard loss. Houston's third sack of the day, he celebrates. Jaguars ball, third and 10, their own 12. Gabbert has his pass intercepted by Tom Bahali, who takes it in for the touchdown. Doesn't get any easier than that. This one end up in the hands of Cecil Shorts, Jamie. It gets tips, and eventually, wow. that is Darius Butler, and there he goes. Man. Colts on top, 10 to three. That's Butler's eight career interception. And that was it. Pretty An ending high ankle fracture for Jokel. Next play, first and 10, the Rams 47. Gabbert overthrows Blackman. Matt Giordano picks it off. This goes from a play that's all right. This could turn the tide a little bit. This is a nice return. Hey, wait a minute. All the way for the touchdown. Game tied at seven. Second quarter.